Okay, so we are now going to start a new set of exercises, the one on cyclic groups. So the first one asks us to find all the generators of these cyclic groups. And this we can do directly using this result. By by the fourth corollary, by corollary four, to theorem four point two. So this is uh, the the exercise set is from the fourth chapter. This corollary says that a positive integer less than or equal to this given modulus for example here it is 6 is a generator of set 6 if and only if it is relatively prime to 6 so from that we get these things The generators of set 6 are 1 and 5. One, three, five, seven and the generators of set 20 or z20 are <coughs> the positive integers less than 20 and relatively prime to 20 which are these 1 3 7 9 11 13 17 and 19 so that is just the solution yeah, extremely easy a, a straightforward application of this corollary Then exercise 2, suppose that A, B and C are cyclic groups. of orders 6, 8 and 20. Respectively. Here also uh, we have to find all the generators of these cyclic groups. One generator is of course given in each case. For this one the generator is A, here the generator is B and here a generator is C. Find all the generators of these cyclic subgroups, I mean cyclic groups. So here also we have just like that previous result, we have one result available uh, for us that is another corollary, corollary 3 to that same theorem which says that say we have a cyclic group like this with generator A. Then any other element in this cyclic group of course by the definition 
of a cyclic group will be of this form where i is some integer now this will also be a generator of this cyclic group if and only if i is relatively prime to the order of the group which actually is also the order of the element a so it this one is similar to this one the only difference is that here we have concrete cyclic groups here we have just some cyclic groups in fact you can see that these are cyclic groups of orders 6, 8 and 20 respectively. But here the case is somewhat more general. So the solution will be similar by Corollary 3 to theorem 4.2. In fact, we can just look at the previous solution and write this one. The generators of this are a, a means a to the power 1 and a to the power 5. this R, keeping in mind that B is a mm, B is an element of order 8. So the generators are B. Since we have to write all the generators, so we include B also in the list. B, B cube, B to the power 5 and the seventh power of the b to the power seven and the generators of the last one are c you can uh, see the numbers here 1 3 7 9 11 13 17 19 So that is the second solution. Then exercise 3. The first few exercises of course will be extremely straightforward. But the further we go down this uh, exercise lane, the harder the problems will become. Not unduly hard of course. Uh, I mean what we have so far seen, the problems are not uh, as hard as Hartstein's algebra, but sometimes some of them becomes really hard. List all the elements of the subgroup cyclic subgroup generated by 20 and the one generated by 10 but where in which group in oh, z30 okay let a be a group of okay then a general version of it let a be a group element of order 30 list the elements
of the subgroups. So we can simply just uh, calculate the elements. The elements in the cyclic subgroup generated by 20. are these. Of course, 20 itself is an element. Then 20 square. Um, modulo 13, this is 10. Uh, I mean, sorry, modulo 30, this is 10. Okay, so you have to interpret these equations in the groups at 30. Not uh, this is not con to be considered as an ordinary equation involving these real numbers. That's not how it should be interpreted. If you do that, then this is of course false. It is wrong. Then 20 q is 0. 20 to the power 4 is 20. So, in this uh, cyclic subgroup, how many elements are there? 20, 10 and 0. That's all. Because if you calculate higher powers, those values only will keep on repeating. Like that, the elements in these are 10 then 10 square 10 square of course is 100 and modulo 40 that is 20 then 10 cube 10 cube will become 0 and 10 to the power 4 again is 10 Oh, I think, oh, wait, wait. I think uh, the calculation, there is no problem with the calculation, but what I was saying just now is wrong. 20 square, C. since we are in an abelian group and the uh, operation is actually addition, so 20 square is not 400. 20 square means 20 plus 20. So that is 40. And modulo 30 that is 10 just like that 20 cube is 20 plus 20 plus 20 which is 60 so modulo uh, 30 that is 0 okay so here the integral powers are actually sums here also the integral powers are sums oh i mistook it uh, see if we are uh, if we go off track for even a second, if we forget what we are doing, then that's it. We will make mistakes. It's because I am copying things from here that things are okay. Remember what I said right now, 10 square is 100. No, that's not how it should be interpreted. 10 square in this context means 10 plus 10 which is 20 and 20 modulo 30 is again 20. So that's why we are getting 20 here. Okay. So with that interpretation rectified, we are now going to go to the second part. The elements are they will also be similar only the num these numbers will appear as exponents in the powers of a 20 
then ten then zero which actually will be the identity in whatever group we have these things this cyclic subgroups and if we calculate one more um, should I have written all the things namely the way we showed all these calculations let us do that So again we are getting 20. The elements in this cyclic subgroup are So that is the that completes the solution. Then exercise four. List the elements of the subgroups. A cyclic subgroup generated by 15 in the group Let A be a group element of order 18. List the elements of the subgroups. generated by a q and the one generated by a to the power 15. Three square which is actually 6 given that uh, operation is addition and we are in Z18 so 3 square really means 3 plus 3 then 3 cube is 9 3 to the power 4 is 12 3 to the power 5 is 15 
3 to the power 6 is 18 so that is 0 and if we calculate 3 to the power 7 then we get 3 back uh, isn't that the case yes so we stop here so the elements in this cyclic subgroup are uh, 0 3 6 9 12 and 15 like that the elements in this cyclic subgroup are 15 then 15 square is 30 uh, 30 modulo 18 is 12 just like that if one calculates 15 cube one gets 9 15 to the power 4 is 6 15 to the power 5 is 3 15 to the power 6 is 0 the moment you get 0 uh, after that all the powers are um, I mean the actual values of the powers that are going to be repeated 15 to the power 7 is going to be 15 so looking at these values next the elements in this cyclic subgroup is what a cube oh sorry elements are okay <laughs> like many things grammar is also going a to the power six a to the power nine a to the power 12 a to the power 15 a to the power 0 which is the identity and this gives us a cube back lastly the elements of this cyclic subgroup are so we just read things off from here 15 square is 12 a to the power 9 a to the power 6 a cube then the next one will be the identity and then uh, again things will be repeated now uh, this is six sorry we had five there and if we continue one more step gives us a to the power 15 back so these are all the elements in this cyclic subgroup
then exercise 5. List the elements of the sub okay, which is also something similar, but the group now is not going to be uh, our additive groups, Z something. It's going to be the multiplicative groups, U something. List. the elements of the subgroups in U20 Now our uh, binary operation is no longer addition modulo uh, say 20, it is multiplication modulo 20 and also the elements we will deal with are in positive integers less than 20 and relatively prime to 20. 3, 3 square courses 9. So this time 3 square really means 3 times 3. 3 cube is 27. So modulo 20 it becomes 7. 3 to the power 4 is 81. Modulo 20 it becomes 1. So this is the identity just like uh, after 0 things repeat repeated there. So this time after one things will be repeated. So this is going to give us 3 back. The elements in 7 are 7, 7 square is 49. So modulo 20 that is going to be 9, yes and 7 cube becomes 3 ultimately, 7 to the power 4 hits 1. So after that we are again going to get 7 back. Mm -hmm. I have I seem to have written something else here okay but that's not a part of this exercise then we move to the sixth one what do exercises 3 4 and 5 have in common Try to make a generalization that includes these three cases.
Oh, so they are asking what is the common thing among these exercises 3, 4 and 5. In the third one we had this uh, our group was C30 and the cyclic subgroups were those generated by 20 and 10. In the fourth one our group was C18 or Z18 and the cyclic subgroups we had were this. Here however these are 3 and 7 okay and the group is U20. And the cyclic subgroups are 3 and 7. Okay, so if you go back to the actual solutions to these exercises, you will see for example, what are the elements in this? cyclic subgroup generated by 20. What are the actual elements? 0, let me just see, okay, 0, 10 and 20. Fine. Then what are the elements in this cyclic subgroup? Again 0, 10 and 20. They are equal. Just like that in C18, the cyclic subgroup generated by 3, the elements in it are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 0. This is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 0. And the one generated by 15 that also has 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Here also they are equal. And are we having uh, these two things also equal? 3, 9, 7, 1. 7, 9, 3, 1. Yes. So that is the common thing. So we write the solution accordingly in exercises 3, 4 and 5, the two cyclic subgroups in each case are equal and the generalization is this we are making this conjecture let g be a group of order n Let A and B be two elements in G such that the greatest common divisor of N 
and the order of a is equal to the greatest common divisor of n and the order of b then the cyclic subgroups generated by a and b are equal you will see that in both the cases uh, these things are true i mean the hypothesis is true whatever uh, general statement we have written here this is our hypothesis so the hypothesis is true in all these three cases for example in case of this u20 what is the order of this element 3 looking at these powers of 3 we see that the order is 4 okay um, what is the order here also the order is 4 so actually here the orders themselves are equal so the gcd of 4 and 20 greatest common divisor is 4 so they are also equal and the cyclic subgroups are equal uh, just uh, for the sake of completeness let us look at the other things also do we have the orders equal there also because if the orders themselves are equal we don't have to write such a thing gct in case of z30 the elements were 20 and 10 okay what was the order of 20 order of 20 was 3 order of 20 in this case is 3 and order of 10 okay so order of 10 is also 3 then what is the need for writing gct that's what i'm thinking and finally in the second one our elements are 3 and 15 order of 3 is 6 and order of 15 is also 6 okay so why gct let me change it such that then a is equal to b this is only a conjecture we are of course not going to prove it uh, this is only our guess because th that's what we have been asked we are not asked to prove this conjecture so we stop here it may or may not be true this is just our observation based on only three specific examples So if you find a better conjecture uh, here, um, looking at those three examples of course, if you uh, find a better way of saying these things or you find a better observation that is common to all the three examples, then of course you can write and please, please let me know also. Okay, so this was six. Then exercise 7. Find an example of a non-cyclic group. of a non-cyclic group 
All of those proper subgroups are cyclic. The answer is given in the book itself. So you have to verify these things that I leave to you. Such a subgroup is U8, U8. You can also take the dihedral group D3. The groups themselves are not cyclic, but every proper subgroup is cyclic. Then exercise 8. Let A be an element of a group. and let order of a be 15 Compute the orders of the following elements. Following elements in G. What is G? G is the group. Um, uh, language has not been very nice. Let A be an element of the group G and let the order of A be 15. Anyway, we understand what the author wants to say. So these are the elements whose orders we want to find a cube a to the power 6 a to the power 9 a to the power 12 so order of a is given uh, orders of powers of a we have to calculate for which actually there is a formula so we don't have to think of anything we directly calculate the orders of these powers from that formula and a to the power 14 and the formula is it comes from theorem 4.2 we are going to use theorem 4.2 in this solution and the formula is this it is order of a divided by the greatest common divisor of this exponent and the order of a So this is 15 divided by GCD is 3. So you get 5.
again this again is 3 GCD so again 5 again 5 and finally again 5 because the greatest common divisors in all the cases are equal to 3. Then part B, order of A to the power 5 is 15 divided by 5, so this is 3, order of A to the power 10. again 3. So, these uh, different parts of the exercise show that such powers have same order, such powers of A have same order for this different choices of the exponent. In this case, uh, the you can see the orders are going to be the same as the order of a because all these exponents are relatively prime to 15. So all the GCDs will be 1 exercise 9 how many subgroups does the 20 have list a generator for each of these subgroups. Then again it's general version. Suppose that G is a cyclic group generated by the element A and the order of A is 20. So that means G is a group of order 20, a cyclic group of order 20. How many subgroups? does G have? Again, list a generator 
for each of these subgroups. So all these things will come from uh, some theorem. So here, by theorem 4.3 in this chapter, the subgroups of C20 are all cyclic because every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. And the generators are the divisors of 20. So the subgroups are these. This is nothing but C20 itself and the cyclic subgroup generated by 2, the one generated by 10 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are the cyclic subgroups and hence are all the subgroups of C20. Just like that, here also in the general case, G has six subgroups because here also G is cyclic and uh, has order 20. So G has six subgroups and they are this where K is a positive device there of uh, if, if we wanted we could have written all the things like uh, the cyclic subgroup generated by a which is g itself the one generated by a square by a to the power 10 by a to the power 4 and a to the power 5 but we chose to write it in this way in this compact manner uh, if we were still finding it somewhat confusing, you go to theorem 4.3, see its statement that will make all the things clear. Why these are the only subgroups. Okay, then. Exercise 10. In set 24. list all generators for the subgroup of order 8 
let G be a cyclic group generated by A and let A have order 24. So this is that general version. List all generators for the subgroup of order 8. the unique subgroup of set 24 of order 8 is the cyclic subgroup generated by 3. Besides 3, The other generators of this cyclic subgroup are, of course, we have to look at the powers of 3 where the exponents are relatively prime to 8. So we get these things. Uh, will it have to be relatively prime to 8 or relatively prime to 24? Now they have to be relatively prime to 8. Um, Have I, uh, okay, am I again getting confused between addition modulo 24 and multiplication modulo 24? So one of the things, one of the generators is 3, okay. Let me just write what I have written here and then we will verify. 9, 15 and 21. We have to do a little calculation. So the elements in this are, let me write them as a list. Keeping in mind that we are dealing with an additive group. 3 plus 3 is 6, 9, mm. so then 12, 15, 18, 21, so this is 0 because it gives us 24. Uh, you add 8 number of 3s, you get 24. So these are the elements, fine. Now what are the powers of 9? Nine? 9 
this is 80 this is 27 which modular 24 is 3 so this is 9 cube times uh, 9 so 9 cube is already 3 so 3 times 9 again 27 or uh, no 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 uh, see again I am uh, getting confused between addition and multiplication 9 cube is 3 but our operation is addition 3 plus 3 is 6 okay or uh, 3 plus 3 is not safe what the hell am I doing 9 cube plus 9 so this will be 12 9 to the power 5 is this is 21 9 to the power 6 this is 21 plus 9 30 modular 24 this is 6 9 to the power 7 is 6 plus 9 that is 15 9 to the power 8 is 15 plus 9 24 modular 24 this is 0 and then of course again uh, things will be repeated so are we really getting all the elements uh, the elements are 3 6 9 12, 15, 18, 21, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 0, um, yes, so yes, 9 actually does generate the cyclic subgroup 3. Why did I confuse this with uh, what I was thinking? I mean, or my thought was confusing me. Oh, I thought that 3 square is 9. 3 square is not 9. 3 square is 6 because we are in an additive group. So because I thought 3 square is 9 but 2 is not relatively prime to 8 so how can 9 be a generator. So th that was my confusion. So yeah now it's okay because you see now uh, let us now look at the powers look at the exponents you look at those exponents that are relatively prime to 8 1 3 5 and 7 so the corresponding powers 3 to the power 1 3 cube 3 to the power 5 and 3 to the power 7 should be according to theory also generators for the same cyclic group so the generators are 3 of course 3 uh, with 3 we started and then the other generators are 9 15 and 21 so yes okay we have what we uh, really should have just like that the 
the unique subgroup of G of order A is this. This types a Q the other generators of this cyclic subgroup are a to the power nine, a to the power fifteen, and a to the power twenty one. So that completes the solution. 11 Let G be a group and let A be in G. So this is uh, having gone through this exercises which almost all of them involve concrete groups, concrete cyclic groups, we are now going to look at an exercise of a general nature. Let G be a group and let A be an element in G. Prove that The cyclic subgroup generated by A inverse equals the cyclic subgroup generated by A. This is a really easy one. Let the typical element of this cyclic subgroup looks like this an integral power of A inverse, where i is an integer then using the rules of exponents this becomes a to the power minus i since minus i is also an integer this has become an integral power of a and as such it belongs to the cyclic subgroup generated by a So this is contained in this. Should I use this itself to prove the reverse thing? Anyway, let's just follow the simplest path. Let's not convolute this anymore. Next, let a to the power j be any element in this cyclic group where j is an integer. Then a to the power j can also be written again using the rules of exponents as a inverse to the power minus j. So my, since minus j is also an integer, so this has now been shown to be an integral power of A inverse. So by definition, it belongs to the cyclic group generated by A inverse. This implies This is also a subset of 
equals hence equality well in the additive group of integers find all generators of the subgroup okay so unlike the previous groups the groups in the previous exercises this is an infinite cyclic group where we have this uh, cyclic subgroup since by the previous exercise this is equal to 3 minus 3 is a generator of this besides 3 itself do we have any other generator let us try to find let Note that a generator of a cyclic subgroup must first of all be an element of the subgroup. Otherwise, how can it generate the subgroup? So let 3i belong to the cyclic subgroup generated by 3, where i is an integer. Assume that 3i also generates the same cyclic subgroup. Then, or uh, that is. this is equal to 3 then since 3 belongs to this subgroup so 3 also has to belong to this and hence 3 should be a multiple of 3i for some integer j this implies one is equal to ij now since i and j are both integers for each one of them the choice is either one or minus one of course not in any manner if one i is one then j is also one if i is minus one then j is also minus one these are the only two possibilities hence or so there are only two possible values of i 1 and minus 1 when i is 1 we get the generator 3 when i is minus 1 we get the generator minus 3 so 
द ओनली टू जेनरेटर्स ऑफ दिस आर माइनस थ्री एंड थ्री Let's solve a few more. Exercise thirteen. In C twenty four, find this intersection of the cyclic subgroups generated by twenty one and ten respectively. Suppose that A is some group element whose order is twenty-four. Find a generator for this intersection. In general, what is a generator for the subgroup We have let me refill this. Now instead of starting it like this, um, let's argue. In element say x, belonging to this. Is what is an integer that is divisible by both twenty one and ten. Is an integer. By both twenty one and ten, so x is
divisible by 80 which is the lcm of 21 and 10 okay let me just see one thing 21 is 3 times 7 10 is 2 no what the hell i have written the lcm <laughs> i think again uh, something is going wrong here how can it be lcm has to be divisible by both 21 and 10 so the lcm is 21 and i mean uh, 210 okay thus we thus have contained in conversely any integer multiple of 210 is also an integer multiple of both 21 and 10 which implies that this is also contained in this intersection hence the intersection equals the cyclic subgroup generated by 210 and we are in z24 so we can reduce it modulo 24 if you uh, do that you will get 18 in other words if you divide 210 by 24 the remainder is 18 so this cyclic subgroup should be the same here also you can see um a generator since we have been asked to find just a generator and not some special type of generator so we just take the simplest one a generator for this is this in general a generator for this group is a to the power k where k is the lcm of n and m next exercise 14 suppose that a cyclic group g has exactly three subgroups
G itself, E, this, anyway will always be there. And additionally something else. And a subgroup of order 7. What is the order of G? What can you say if 7 is replaced with P? where of course P is a prime. And in the solution, I will just simply write by theorem four point three order of G is equal to seven square which is forty nine. Replacing seven with a prime P we get this is equal to p square exactly how theorem 4.3 implies this uh, that is left to you to figure out okay so this is the 14th solution And then of course the exercises go on and on and on. Mm. So let's just stop the video here. We will uh, continue with the remaining exercises in the next part. So until then it's me Lucifer from a mathematical room. Have a nice night.